Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Muddy Hook. Today I'm going to teach you how to use bow to its full potential. We all know that bow is pretty a weird character because he doesn't do that much damage and he doesn't have that much health. So what is his main point? Well, the main point of his main ability is to deal monsters. His main point is to kill monsters quickly and fast. I just started a practice match with Bo, and I'm going to show you how quickly you can kill this big bot. It should just take about 5 hits to kill this big bot with just one bow with no other squad members. Now if you go to the- now I'm going to try to kill this giant bot, and it takes pretty long, but you can see how much more damage- how much damage is doing to this big uh, monster bot. And it's a lot more than other characters. And that's how easy it is to kill a monster bot with bow. And this can be very useful in the end part when um, all the sides are blocked and there are so many monsters. Using bow to get to gain quickly gems from monsters in the end, if it's a mode with no gem box, would be very useful. Now I'm going to show you the best modes bow is at at and the best and the modes you should never use bow in. The modes you should use bow is in Loot Goblin Rush, Piano Party, Whack-A-Mole, Royal Hunt, and probably the least is Tree Giant because He's in the middle, but Bo in the ending will do great into killing that giant tree to get all its gems. And the reason that you should use Bo in all those modes is because the main objective in those modes is to kill the bots to gain a lot of gems. Alright, I'm gonna start a round and hopefully I get one of those modes and I can show you the power of Bo. I got lucky and the round is Royal Ghost. I'm gonna use the dice so I can get Bo. And as you can see, Bo's gonna quickly end this ghost with just four hits. I did some farming of ghosts and I only am picking bows to join my squad. And look at here, I'm I'm gonna obliterate the squad because I have so many ghosts. And look, they scared and ran away, and I'm gonna get more ghosts to my squad to try a humongous army of ghosts. I am ruling the battlefield with so many ghosts that I can easily take care of this team. But I have bows, so I'm not doing that much damage to that enemy team. So you should I would recommend not to just pick a bow like how I did in this round. But at least have one mega bow in your team when you're doing uh when you're doing ghost mode. Alright, I kinda fell off from the all my characters and my ghosts is because I only I only had both. So whenever you have a map like this and you're gonna use both, you should always have a tank like a Primo or a Barbarian. You should always have them in your squad if you're having both. If they're not in the squad I would not recommend both because both is some both has very very little amount of health and you can die very easily and you can see I won this round uh, okay, I got third, not as much as I hope so, but in the beginning you saw how many ghosts I had, and if I would have, if I would have picked a primo instead of like getting more bows, then I could easily get first place. Steve, if you want to grind this, uh, collecting monsters, you should use bow, because bow can very easily kill many monsters, so making a giant army of bows and just completely just going to the monsters you can easily go through the squad journey through it and that's all it for this video subscribe and see you next time